Gently slide the triangular bandage underneath the arm. The point of triangle should be underneath the elbow at the injured arm. Bring the top end of the bandage around the back of the neck. Fold the lower end of the bandage up over the forearm to meet the top of the bandage at the shoulder of the injured side. Tie the two ends of the bandage together in a reef knot above their collarbone and tuck in the free end. Adjust the sling so that it supports their arm all the way to the end of their little finger. Make sure that the edge of the bandage by the elbow is secured by twisting the fabric and tugging it in or using a safety pin to fasten. Check the circulation in their fingertips every 10 minutes. Press their nails for 5 seconds until it turns pale. Then release to see if the color returns within 2 seconds. The bandage of proper size and material Position the patient on sit on the chair and stand behind the patient. Provide privacy if required. Support the injured area while bandaging. Always apply bandage from inner to outer and far to near end. Place the center of the bandage over the center of the forehead. Lower end of the bandage is lying just above the eyebrow. Make two circular turn to anchor the bandage. Bring the head of the bandage around over the temples and above the ears to nape. Bring the bandage around the head and the other end of the bandage over the center of the top of the scalp and then to the root of the nose. Bring the bandage which circle the victim head covering and fixing the bandage which crosses the scalp. This bandage is then brought back over the scalp. Ensure that each turn of bandage cover two third of the previous turn. Cross it again at the back and fix using the encircle bandage and turn back over the scalp to the opposite side at the center line. Now covering the other margin of its original turn. Repeat the backward and forward turns to alternate sides of the center, each one being is turned fixed by encircling bandage until the whole scalp is covered. End the bandaging by taking two circles around the head. Remove all foreign material from the casualty mouth. If the casualty is unconscious, check the obstruction in the airway. Place the bandage under the chin with one end longer. When applying the bandage, allow the jaw enough freedom to permit passage of air and drainage from the mouth. Take the longer end over the top of the head to meet the short end at the temple and cross the ends over. Take the ends in the opposite direction to the other side of the head and tie them over the part of the bandage that was applied first. Tie the end above the ear.
Always apply bandage from inner to outer and far to near end. Make two circular turns to anchor the bandage. It is made by a number of spiral turns in which the bandage is reversed downward upon itself by placing the thumb of the free hand on the upper edge of the bandage at each of the limbs. This V-shaped folds allow the bandage to fit it to the trap shape of the body part all the way along. Overlap each previous turn by two thirds the width of the bandage. Terminate the bandage with two circular turns and secure the end. Position the patient and apply the abdominal binder. You can put your hands down. Thank you. Okay, sir. Now you can sit. Face the patient while applying the bandage except when applying onto the head. Always apply bandage from inner to outer and far to near end. Apply the layer of bandages over the top of each other. With the roll on the inner aspect Unroll the bandage either towards you or laterally, holding the loose and until it is secured by the first circle of the bandage. Encircle the body part a few times or as needed, each turn directly covering the previous turn. Secure the end of the bandage with tape, metal clip or a safety pin over an uninjured area. Support the injured area while bandaging. Face the patient while applying the bandage except when applying onto the head. Always apply bandage from inner to outer and far to near end. Make two circular turns to anchor the bandage. Continuing with each spiral turn, 
part of the proceeding turn is covered generally by one third of the width of the bandage. Terminate the bandage with two circular turn and secure the end.